Ted is surviving this coming. In fact, the problem currently is going to be there's going to be redundant making of this brain and body that's around a trillion in spiritual power and at least a hundred thousand in spiritual things intelligence with different types of genius, uh, creative genius and talents and abilities to possibly even a million to possibly even a billion to something even angels don't understand to possibly even a brain that's not even uh, similar to a, a an angel brain that maybe they don't even really understand it and God never um, told them, God and the Creator. They don't really quite understand how intelligent this thing really is. They're, they told Ted they're kind of guessing on the intelligence of 100,000 IQs. It's, it's an estimate. It's a guess. It's a, like an educated guess. It's, it's a guess. Therefore, I think it's much additionally intelligent because I'm thinking in all these years, you know, Satan, Satan's demons even on Earth tried to do different things including what those are doing with biotech and primarily what those do with biotech was is destroying um, many things that create original it's destroying humans you know the gene therapy is destroying humans you're actually altering genetics of humans which passed on um, genetically you know to children and down a, a line to a long line it's a nightmare and Satan says demons did are, are doing it and and did it and different angels from um, uh, heaven uh, were doing it to um, hit you. And I, in the future, probably when spirits are being again, are, is, are, are, going, are going to do it. And I'm going to turn humans into um, for disobeying these many commands. You're going to be punished, to cursed, to obliterated. You're going to be turned into um, from uppercase humans to lowercase humans to mutants to freaks, to monsters, and you're going to deserve it. You disobeyed many commands by this time of God and the Creator and different angels to primarily kill the drop and accomplish the killing to dropping of Satan, Satan's demons and spawns, and all went down to that side too much, where even currently, now, Weevil Earth has enough nukes to do it. You have enough weapons of what they call mass destruction now and different weapons and militaries to do it. You have enough now to do it, including to cause um, radiation and fallout. You have enough now to do it. You don't need to wait for any additional. You don't need to really wait for any additional setups. There should be no further delays. You have enough now to do it while Ted is still alive. And then Ted gives a command. When Ted gives a command, you give exact same commands, world leaders, what are commanders of militaries, including commander-in-chief, of United States of America military, what is heading for rapid bankruptcy, um, United States, um, is. You're heading for bankruptcy. You're heading into bankruptcy. And it's um, you know, like former Soviet Union. You're going to, at some point, have people um, just insist you pay um, your debts, and you're not going to be able to pay them all at the same time, and you're going to have to declare some type of country or nation bankruptcy and then there's going to be no further credit and the U.S. government is going to be in serious trouble including the U.S.A. military um, and there's going to be some crumbling and many are going to have to be you know uh, it's going to, have to be reduced and it's going to be a, a huge nightmare and then you won't have the um, weapons of mass destruction or mass transition to do what we need to do you know and you're heading there and, and some angels have been trying to Keep it from um, heading there this rapidly. Yet, you know, some of these things what are were done or are, are getting done or are heading us for rapid bankruptcy or heading the United States of America or U.S. into rapid bankruptcy. And Russia's, you know, was former Soviet Union was much stronger with their nukes, and Russia has some and trying to recover. And um, we can do it now. You're going to pay, humans of Earth. You're going to have to pay. Some of you are saying, I won't be alive. Who cares? I won't even be alive. Who cares what, um, you know, if Ted is God, they want to put a big if in front of us. Uh, many do. If Ted is God, who cares? Because I want to be alive. You won't be alive anywhere. <laughs> anywhere you're going to want to be alive. You might be alive in something down to, to hell to something lower. I'm not going to um, resurrect you. Many of you, you're just going to get eternal death, or um, you're going to get something down to hell to lower. You're not going to be alive in anything, you know, or any place or any spot or 
any condition you're going to want to live in, you're, you're going to be getting punished, accursed, obliterated. And a put down, it's not a resurrection if it's a put down. I'm doing maximum up to maximum down. Maximum up to maximum down. Or maximum down to maximum up. My current feeling is I want to do maximum down to maximum up. There's, there's many that need to be punished, cursed, and obliterated. Therefore, I'm doing maximum down over here to the left to maximum up over here to the right. Maximum down to maximum up is what God, who is Ted and the Creator, is, 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 is pushing now. This is what he wants to create, maximum down to maximum up in this order currently. <coughs> Therefore, put-downs, then somewhere in the middle is eternal death, death forever, and then um, living a range of next life, where you can earn additional. I'm not giving eternal life. I'm not giving living forever. I'm not now offering immortality to anything. I am the only immortal, I'm the only, and I'm going to live after this coming. I'm the only immortal. I am immortal. Immortal. I live forever. I live for all eternity. I live until end of time. I am the only immortal. I am immortal. I am the only immortal. Now, I'm not doing any um, immortality and judgment. Um, I change this. No, nothing else is immortal or has immortality. I'm not doing this. Now, I'm doing a range of next life to some more life. And you can earn additional. This is what I'm offering. This is the maximum given. It's range of next life to uh, rarely more life. Where you can earn additional. Things add and things subtract. You know, where you added and I gave you life, things subtract and I can subtract life. You need to realize what you do for Ted, who is God and the Creator, uh, is what I'm looking for in conquerings and in, in helping to win with conquerings, helping to win with wars, helping to win with, um, um, helping to win, helping to protect, focusing on my protection priorities, protecting what I want to protect or need to protect or should protect, protection priorities, what different things, what you do for Ted is what counts. That's where it adds. It's not, you know, constantly focusing on um, asking for forgiveness or confessing and asking for forgiveness or doing baptisms and thinking you're, you know, totally forgiven. It's not any any of this primarily. This is going to be de-emphasized now. In judgment, I've decided this has to be de-emphasized. It got, it did get too far out of control. You think that simply you have to ask for forgiveness and get it or be baptized and you're, you know, washed white or, um, pray and ask for forgiveness for different things or confess and ask for forgiveness and and um, it's not what I'm emphasizing now it's what you do for God what counts what adds it's what you do it's about you know works you know what you do and in, in, including in duty and works and many were saying you know righteousness by works is is false and that's part of the New Testament what is false and it was evil, and it's saying righteousness by works is nothing um, Jesus was really pushing. Jesus was pushing forgiveness, and therefore you really don't have to do much. You just have to get a forgiveness, and or you know do a ritual like a baptism, or get a forgiveness, or someone get a forgiveness, or you know this. That's this is not accurate currently in Ted's religion. All of this focus on forgiveness went too far, and it to get them to focus on forgiveness not on and rituals and praying and different things and prayer and you know you're requesting so much in prayer it's like you know God and angels are practically your prayer slaves that's what you think you practically treat us like your prayer slaves like I prayed for it therefore I'm, I'm expecting to get it from God and our different angels and um, we're really getting tired of it you know you think just simply because you pray for it you get it you know Many things you pray for, you don't get. Many forgivenesses that were prayed for, you didn't ever get. Many baptisms that were done, you never did, were forgiven. Uh, I don't recognize any absolution or um, last rites or um, any of that, uh, any of that of uh, Roman Catholic Church. 